Hey everyone, welcome to this video. When I started scripting this, the date was November 7th, which means that the Indian festival Deepavali was one week away. Deepavali, which by the way is the South Indian name for the festival, you might know it better as Diwali if you are North Indian or not Indian, is probably the most well-known festival from India outside of India. Deepavali usually takes place in the Indian month of Kartika, which is roughly in late October and early November. It's known as the Festival of Lights and Deepavali literally translates to a row of oil lamps, as oil lamps are called Deepams or Diyas. It is celebrated in North India as the day that Lord Rama returns to Ayodhya, the capital of his kingdom, after spending 14 years in the forest in the Hindu epic Ramayana. In South India, however, it is celebrated as the day that Lord Krishna defeated the demon Narakasura. It is also celebrated by Sikhs as the day that Guru Hargobind returned to Amritsar after being held captive in Gwalior by the Mughal ruler Jahangir in the 17th century. Jains also celebrate it as the day that the Tirthankara Mahavira was liberated, and some Buddhists celebrate it as the day that Emperor Ashoka converted to Buddhism. But originally, Deepavali was celebrated as the day when ancestors would leave Earth after a period called Pitrupaksha about a month earlier when they were believed to come to Earth. And this is the reason for fireworks being burst during the festival, as they were meant to help the ancestors find their way back through the sky. However, in recent times, fireworks have become a controversial part of the festival and have even been banned in many places. The Supreme Court of India first banned fireworks in the National Capital Region or NCR around Delhi in 2017, following the air quality being quite bad on the day after Deepavali 2016. But in Delhi, that day happened to see low winds, which caused the air to not clear out. Many blame this completely on Deepavali, which you might think makes sense, because even if there were low winds, the pollution was because of the festival, right? Actually, no. The national capital region usually has bad air quality this time of year, not because of Deepavali, but because of crop burning. In autumn, many farmers in the NCR and other surrounding areas, such as the state of Punjab, burn the stubbles of their crops to make way for their new crops. This produces a pollutant called black carbon and also reduces the fertility of the soil. This isn't how it always was though. Punjab enacted the Punjab Preservation of Subsoil Water Act in 2009 to combat the water shortage for farmers in the state. This act delayed the planting of crops to let the monsoon season water them, therefore delaying the harvest as well. This caused the farmers to have much less time to clear their fields, which is why they had to start burning them. The pollution was also caused by cars and factories in the city, of course. And while people bring up the fact that fireworks cause pollution of metals such as lead, these ingredients are only used in Chinese fireworks, and Indian fireworks don't use them. On that note, the ban has also been a big problem to the South Indian city of Shivakashi, a city in the Virathunagar district of the state of Tamil Nadu, which has a big fireworks making industry. Fireworks also have a pro when it comes to health. The sulfur released from the fireworks via the fumes acts as an insecticide and have reduced the levels of diseases such as malaria and dengue. In 2020, many states have banned fireworks again, not only because of pollution but also the pandemic. In conclusion, fireworks in Deepavali get accused for a lot of pollution that they didn't cause and we should focus on finding solutions for the real causes, such as cars, factories and crop burning. So that's all for this video, thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed. If you did, you can click the like button, share the video and subscribe to the nature thread. So until the next video, bye and let's keep learning.